doing this portrait I feel. Fantastic, absolutely fantastic subject. So that's just roughly the positioning of everything. Um, down here just under the ears we've got his... This side of the face here it can be fractionally lighter. As they're going to the cheek there it wants to be fractionally redder. There's a bit more yellow. That's probably got a little bit more grey in this one here down to there mustn't be afraid to go in quite dark in here. Um, for me there's no difference between the eye and the dark around the eye. So I'm not separating them. For me they're the, and the eyebrows, they're all the same dark. This here is quite dark. More light over this side there. A little bit yellower and lighter as we come down the bridge, a little bit redder as we come further down. Uh, so as we come over to this ear over here, we do have some grey colours and then we have some quite light fresh red colours. And that goes up here. And these have to be quite so light. A few on the edge here, just catching that bit of shadow. These great Every time your here. brush hits the canvas, you're redefining a shape and uh, you're questioning and restating whatever was there before. And it's very, very important to keep that process going and not to end up just colouring in the shapes that are left or following shapes that are already there. Every time your brush is on here, your eye should be going to the model and then looking to see where to put the brush stroke. Use this this grey colour on his shirt. at that angle for the ear. There's some red behind him on that bush, which I rather like. This darker colour here, slightly softer colour there, slightly softer colour in this fence and then the house colour at the back. Down here there's bits of darks obviously behind me. Let's just put the eyebrows on here quite light. There. This is darker here. I haven't put the lips in yet, so let's put those in. Still with a big brush at this moment. And it goes a little bit cooler and darker here, like this. You can train yourself just to respond to your eyes. Then you are a little bit more free to think about interpretation and the, you know, what you're feeling and what, where you're going to go next, what to look at. You know, make uh, give it direction. Give that a bit. So just got this little bit of light up there. Goes right up to there. Just get a little bit of that out here. Like that. A bit warmer than the hair. So it's just something like that. Coming down the side there. Just putting a little bit of light on there, and a slightly yellower version of the same light just coming down here, round the eye a bit down there. So it's just a little bit of light down that side of the face. The sun comes down there and travels up there a little bit. And then we go into the skin colours here. 
this one here, let's drop that down to there a bit more. Thank you.